WWE 2K24 Showcase. Yeah, woo, yeah, let's go. Ew, my friend Nikki's playing Skull and Bones. She's good. The game, not so good. At least it doesn't look like it is. But we're going to play through the showcase and uh, try to go through it. Now, the opening sequence where Corey Graves is talking does not play any audio. So, uh, let's see if we can put subtitles on. Subtitles are on. All right, we should be good. Let's go. He did it for the rock. Which I think he won. Well, of course it got to the steel cage. God, baby face rock. Everything you could do. Are we supposed to acknowledge him? Oh, God. A oh God. WWF just bring it. Why such big opponents? Just because larger than life, man. Larger than life. I don't know, we'll find out. Now oh, we get to watch The Rock come in. Did he just bug out? Oh, yeah, he did. His arm bugged out. Before the bell could even I was like, this match official, bug out? the action was underway. Austin was proving that he'd do anything to win. First it's attacking funny, this Rock audio while his in. back was turned, and then looking to use the WWE Championship. Rock had a brief moment where he unloaded some of his trademark rights, but then ran into Austin's Fez Press. Austin was wrestling with a hint of desperation not usually seen from him. A very, very he, fast fight for Austin of the as he'd use a couple as of his running elbows to swimming. rattle Rocky in the early moments. In the was The Rock not ready for Austin's tactics? Would he be able to get back into the match quickly before Austin really started stomping a mud hole? Okay, so it is me playing Austin. Take the rock out of the ring and open up a can of whoop ass on his ass. Too. All 
All right, end the combo with a light combo. Oh. How do you take this off? Oh, hey, there we go. All right, Mr. Rocky. Oh, tempers. Oh, not what I was trying to do. Done enough damage to him. Get in the ring. Yep. Go to call something. Get in the corner. Jabroni, that's what it is. One. Rock, get in the car. I don't care which one, just get in the car. Get in the corner, you fucking... So bad at those. Let's hit him with that suplex. Boom. Next target. Now start swinging with the big lumber. Get him days with a heavy combo. Okay. Wants them to the announcer's table, so let's go. My turn. Come on, Rocky. Damn it, Rocky. So I need to grab him and then left A. Let's try this again. Grab left hit. Okay. Once the action went to the ringside area, the brutality really got ratcheted up. Rock used the announce table up. and timekeeper's table to his advantage.
but took his eye off Austin for one brief moment, which allowed Austin the chance to clock him with the belt. Austin was really looking like a different superstar than the one we'd known the last few years. There was a sinister look in his eye as he yelled at officials. Get out of here, man. You're in my way. You too, Raph. Don't make me hit you. I think that's Paul Heyman on commentary right there. A more deliberate yes, approach uh, as he Jim threw Ross heavy rights at the rock, who stumbled all That's kind of funny that Jim Ross is still shown because he's in AEW. Austin's face wore an angry sneer while he planned his next move, knowing he had plenty of time with Rocky Hurt. Paul oh, Heyman makes sense. Oh, now they blared Jim Ross's face there. That's funny. They blur it one way, but they don't blur it the other. That's funny. Did the table just collapse on the rock randomly? <laughs> the rock trying to climb on the table. The table collapses. Well, okay. It's kind of funny that the pay-per-view is blurred out too. Like, why? Back in the ring, Austin continued a methodical, brutal beatdown to the people's champion. Damn, this is a lot longer. Right after right after right, despite the objections of the referee, found their mark. Jesus Christ, this cutscene is so long. I know it's archive footage, but Jesus Christ. Even when Rock was able to land a few strikes of his own, Austin immediately cut off his offensive surge. Stone Cold hadn't been WWE champion for nearly 18 months, and it was clear that this had done something to his psyche. The Rock wasn't the reason that Austin was out, but he had clearly benefited the most from Austin's absence. And it seemed that Austin yeah. was taking every opportunity to make Rock pay for taking what he considered to be his. Did The Rock really underestimate what kind of match this was gonna be? Had he considered Austin to be a friend? Did he not take Austin's words at face value? For a little bit there, it looked like Austin had completely overwhelmed The Rock. Jesus, this is such a long cutscene, my dude. I'd rather be fighting this out. Like, let me mud hole stomp the guy. Let me beat him up at ringside. Let me do any of this. But no, I have to watch a cinematic. Don't get me wrong. I like the cinematic. But, like, damn. Watching the whole match. Like, I've seen this match before. It's not a big deal to me. It's like, okay, cool. I've seen this. But like, bro. But The Rock never lost faith in himself. He took advantage of Austin backing off and clotheslined his way back into the match. Boom. And now I'll probably get to go again. Nope, okay, I'm still watching, damn. Uh, I'm about to just open TFT on my <laughs> on my iPad. 
My tablet. Once he had Austin down, my iPad. Rock was able to reevaluate the situation. Don't even know why I said iPad. And once he had, he went to ringside to grab the timekeeper's bell. Instant karma, it seemed, was going to get Austin. Mm -hmm. Now it was the Rock to duck who was the going to find an angrier, meaner place inside. And it was the Rock who was going to make Stone Cold Steve Austin suffer. With no rules to it's hold them back, the, the Brahma Bull and the Rattlesnake were going to throw absolutely everything at each other with the dream no of rules. leaving I didn't know this was a rules match. as WWE Champion. I'm just going to let him do what he wants. Austin 362 just said I whooped your ass. Dude, I like how I'm like hitting the button. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll hit you with that Austin 316. Mm -hmm. Let's see, one, two, three. That's not what I want it to do. Oh, I don't want his legs. Sure, I'll hit him in a bit. Legs again. Let's see. But it wants me to attack his legs. I can tell you, I got it. Oh no. I didn't even get a counter chance there. That's some whole shit. Come on, ref. Call it. Wait, this is another key. I like how I dodged it, countered it, and it still said, what the fuck is going on there? What? What? What is that? Send him into the ropes and hit your signature.
Can I get a hell yeah? yeah. Should have a signature move. That's not my signature. Come on, man. Let's try this again. There we go. Jesus Christ, that was a bitch Matthew again. Boom, heavy attack. Back and forth they'd gone, but neither Austin nor The Rock had found that moment that would give them the win. As Austin attempted an Irish whip though, The Rock would surprise him with a stone cold stunner of his own. The millions and millions of Rock's fans explode. Would this be it? The Could rock. the Rock embarrass Austin like this by beating him with his own move in Texas? The Texas Rattlesnake. Austin would display his hallmark grit, managing to kick out at the two count. Trying to see if anyone else is like blurred out. Other than the ref is blurred, which and is funny. And while the two men laid on the mat, trying to find the spark to get back to their feet, Mr. McMahon would make his entrance. Was this before Vince? Is somebody cheering asshole? All eyes are on Mr. McMahon, but in the ring, Austin flattens the rock with an incredible spine buster, which gets a two count. Mm. Caught up in his frustration, Austin blindly rushes at Rock, who now flattens Austin with his spine buster. The spine buster. God, this is such a long sequence where it's like, bro, you don't need to keep going. Come on. He's going for the people's elbow. I think that's what it's called. That leads to the people's elbow. Yep, people's elbow. Uh -huh, but when uh -huh. Rock covers Austin, Mr. McMahon breaks up the pin. That's right, Mr. McMahon helped Stone Cold Steve Austin. To mm -hmm. this day, I cannot believe I ever saw that happen. The look on the Rock's face is pretty much the look that I had. What the hell?
Rock's anger raged over, and he made a huge mistake in forgetting about Austin in hopes of laying the smackdown on Mr. McMahon, which led to him running straight into a stone cold version of the rock bottom. Mr. McMahon had turned the match on its head, and Stone Cold Steve Austin looked ready to strike and finish his quest of regaining the WWE Championship under some unthinkable circumstances. Hit the rock a few times with the chair. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, Vince, wait. No, that's not what I wanted. Dude, why the fuck are you putting on the chair? The fuck is up with Rock's character model, let alone his uh, interaction? Dude, the Rock looks horrible there. What the fuck? Vince. Oh, Vince! Spinebuster on there. Oh, God, that might be it. I need help. Vince, I need help. Come on, Vince. Come on, Vince. Comes the other one. Good. Rocky. It was Boom. inevitable. Stone Cold was going to win, and it was obvious to everyone watching. The Rock had been able to get back into it once Mr. McMahon had arrived. Now Stone Cold was obliterating The Rock with a chair as Mr. McMahon instructed him, and all we could do was watch. Somewhere in the darkest places of Steve Austin's mind, he had convinced himself that the only way to get back to where he was would be by teaming with the man who had been his biggest enemy for years. Had the man never really changed? Had he simply fooled the fans during those years where he was WWE's most popular superstar? Should it have ever been surprising that the man who preached DTA 
don't trust anybody. Was not someone to be trusted? Or had something changed in Austin while he was gone? And how could The Rock have Made ever expected anything like this to happen? It's the disturbed version. <laughs> Oh, boom, 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 boom.